Oh, kind of an interesting day today. Um, doing a vlog is hard, especially when I try to capture all the craziness of my life, but it's impossible to do it on the days where everything is crazy. I would need someone to walk around with a camera capturing it all. Like today, it was just madness from start to finish. Today I got a package in the mail of my first shipment of my new book, Not My Plan, um, about a hidden pregnancy that I had in high school, well just out of high school, whatever, started in high school, graduated five months pregnant, anyway. But it, uh, it was surreal to hold the book in my hand and of course I had to race out tonight and get a couple of them shipped off to my birth daughter and to her parents and I, as I was driving, I had to stop by and just uh, reminisce here for a minute. I'm in the parking lot of LDS Family Services where I last saw my birth daughter in person nearly 17 years ago. It's less than a mile from my home where I currently live and I drive by it almost every day. Lots of um, reminders of where I've been in life and where I'm going in life and it's interesting. It's just a very interesting process. And you want to know the weirdest thing about being outside of this building is the smell. I remember the smell. It must be the plants. I have no idea what the plants are that are out there. But the waft of the fragrance uh, brings back the memories of that day. There's been quite a few times that I've sat in this very parking lot after I pick up my letter that had pictures and updates uh, about Hannah and I would just sit in the parking lot and read it and cry and laugh and all those good things. Um, always with a, a feeling of reassurance that I did make the right choice. It's never been a doubt for me and I think um, that's probably the biggest push um, in my subconscious for why I needed to put this story out there is because it really is a positive story for adoption. I know that's not always the case. It breaks my heart that that's not always the case. Um, just like with anything, there's never 100% perfect scenarios in life and um, I feel really blessed and really fortunate that, um, that this was a great turnout. It's been a great experience. Um, in the long haul and learning and growing and feeling all those growing pains and different things that I've learned along the way but um, anyway thanks for taking a little trip down memory lane with me someday we'll have smell smell of vision vlogs smell vlogs essence vlogs essence 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 video fragrance. I need to just stop. None of this. I should edit this out probably. And writing this book, okay, writing this book was not something I wanted to do. This was also not my plan. I think that's when I came up with the titles. I was like, I don't want to write a book. Why would I share this story? This is crazy. Books are on sale now. Amazon.com. You can get the paperback copy or if you like to read on Kindle, it's available there as well. Um, if you like it, leave some feedback. If you don't like it, okay. <laughs> um, that's okay too. It tells a little bit more than just my story of this unplanned pregnancy. I mean, obviously that was part of it, but um, it's also a little bit of about the journey into how I became a comedian, which is my current profession-ish some days. <laughs> I feel like kind of a grumpy sad sack of a comedian a lot of the time but I think that's the norm unfortunately um, and then there's a lot of stuff in there that talks to the religious part of my life because I'm still an active member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and sometimes that's a challenge because there's humans involved so just like any organized relation or uh, religion or any organized group that exists on the planet when humans are involved sometimes there's challenges because opinions and different things come to pass that are not necessarily intentional. So it's kind of a grab bag of, of stuff from stories um, that I just thought would be fun to share. So anyway, I just wanted to take this moment while I'm alone for a couple minutes and need to head now to the grocery store and um, try to wind down for the night. Um, 
but enjoying this quiet moment at a different time of my life uh, appreciating the differences in season of life because most of, some of you that are following me as you know some of you might not know I'm currently pregnant again with another unplanned pregnancy this one was not planned um, which is why I drive a minivan now so check back for that vlog if you missed it the transition of the Jeep to uh, a minivan. I'm realizing now that none of this, none of my life is my plan. I can do my best to facilitate things as I go, but um, there's a bigger plan than any of us can try to predict and control. And uh, the more we can try to relinquish our um, attempts to control, probably the better. Um, anyway, I like the purple hair. You can see it a little more in this light. Look, it like matches my shirt. Burgundy, purpleness, redness. Anyway. <laughs> uh, I'm talking to myself alone in a car in a parking lot. Sometimes you just gotta take a risk and put it all out there and see what happens and, and just go with the flow and be ready for whatever. Uh, but it was... Uh, something that came at a really bad time in life <laughs> with a lot of chaos in my personal life um, but I think in the end it actually uh, was helpful to have something to focus on and uh, to feel like I'm accomplishing a task but uh, laying it all out there is kind of a scary nerve-wracking thing um, but sometimes you just got to do it just got to be bold and do it and enjoy the journey that you're on wherever you are and whatever season of life you're in okay bye <laughs>